Hi everyone! So today is a special day because I have uh, the, um, the pleasure to host my uh, beloved little brother, Akira. Yes, he's my little brother. He's uh, seven, almost seven years my junior. And uh, he'll present today uh, a poem in English. So, Akram, uh, would you be so kind so as to introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, no problem, sis. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Akram. I'm 27 years old. I'm a future engineer and I'm fond of uh, all things geeky and arts uh, and especially poetry. And since uh, today is also Mother's Day, uh, Indeed, we'd yes. like uh, to um, dedicate today's videos to our mom and wish her a very happy Mother's Day. Mami, nhabbouk barsha barsha. Inshallah, kol aam wenti hayo bkhir, mami. And uh, it's also uh, with Sunday, so we'd like to wish uh, a happy holiday to our uh, Christian friends. Happy holidays! Um, so Akram is going to um, introduce the poet, Shelley. Yep. Uh, present uh, a little bit uh, his poem, Ozymandias. Then I'll be reciting the poem, and Akram will be back to give a brief analysis. Sure, thank you, Sif. So, about Shelley. Um, Shelley is uh, one of the prominent uh, English Romantic poets of his time. And uh, unfortunately, he died uh, at rather an early age, at the age of 29. He actually drowned uh, in the Atlantic Ocean while uh, coming back uh, to England. And uh, it is not worthy that uh, he is, in fact, uh, Mary Shelley's husband. And uh, Mary Shelley should be familiar to some of you, since uh, she's the uh, author of uh, one of my uh, favorite books, to be honest, uh, Frankenstein. And uh, actually, the male, uh, the male Shelley uh, helped his wife with uh, writing the novel at the time. Uh, and for uh, all the Watchmen fans out there, this is uh, not the Ozymandias uh, we are accustomed to. This is not, in fact, uh, Adrian Veidt, the infamous Adrian Veidt, the anti-hero of the novel written by Alan Moore in 1986. This is actually the real Ozymandias, so to speak since uh, Ozymandias is actually uh, a Greek name. It's the Greek name for a pharaoh who is none other than uh, Ramses II. And, uh, yeah, the, the poem does share many similar themes with uh, a popular pop song that uh, I think that uh, everybody is familiar with, uh, Viva La Vida by uh, the English band uh, Coldplay. And... Uh, uh, in fact, there are many many similar themes of, uh, let's say, uh, failing empires and falling emperors. And uh, we can see that uh, with the first lines of the song, I used to rule the world. So, sis, you have the floor for now. Thank you, Akira. Uh, Ozymandias by uh, Percy Bysshe Shelley. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert, near them on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer cold of command tell that its sculpture well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them, and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains. Around the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. And that was it. Rather impressive. Thank you Thank very you. much, sis. So, now time for a short analysis. Yeah, sure, sis. Um, as uh, David uh, Mikic uh, from uh, poetryfoundation.org so eloquently put it in his uh, a guide uh, accompanying the poem of Zimendius. Uh, you will find the link in the description below. 
uh, this is a truly uh, a piece of poetry that outlasted empires. Uh, on the wake uh, of Napoleon's uh, 1798 uh, campaign in Egypt, Champollion's archaeological findings uh, fascinated all of Europe. And uh, one of the people that uh, got fascinated by the findings was uh, none other than Shelley himself, uh, the, the poet uh, of, uh, of Zimandias. And uh, uh, we can see his fascination in the poem in that he's fascinated by the concept of time. Uh, time is truly a concept that uh, reigns supreme. This is perhaps, we're talking about one of the most powerful concepts uh, ever, and perhaps one of the oldest. So some would argue uh, that it's one of the oldest uh, uh, concept that ever was. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, we're talking about a time against uh, emperors, or time against empires, and time always wins in the end. And uh, we, can see, we can see that in the poem, in that the the proud stance and the proud uh, and the pride of Ramses the second is counterbalanced by uh, Egypt's devastated vistas and uh, as well as its uh, desolate sands. Thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, bro. Rather impressive. Thank you. You're you're most welcome. Uh, thank you very much for being my guest today and for taking part in much. this uh, first video. I wish you could uh, take part in the videos where I sing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to bother the, the audience with my terrible voice. Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, actually, I wanted him to sing with me uh, the um, Paul McCoy part in uh, Bring, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. But uh, just imagine him uh, singing with me. Okay, I um, hope you enjoyed uh, today's, uh, vid uh, today's uh, video and uh, thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Thank See you. It. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>